He just magically has the key? What, what's going on? Did he, did he have the key beforehand? Hold up. Actual question. Episode 2 of Attack on Titan Season 1. We just watched Episode 1 yesterday. That was crazy. There was this blonde dude. He like had a vision and then it happened. He sensed impending doom. There was lightning. The little naked dude turned into a giant naked dude. Then he ate Eren's mom. It was, it was a terrible time. If I'm being real, the, the episode was good, but it was a terrible time. And now I'm here to find out what's going down in episode two. And as always, if you would like to watch live and join the rats in chat above my head, feel free to follow my Twitch link in the description below. And if you would like to watch this unfiltered, uncut and early access, feel free to subscribe to my Patreon. Now let's watch the show. Alrighty. My question is before we actually get in, my question is, is there going to be a time skip? Don't answer me. My, my general question to the void because like this is like little baby Aaron Yeager like swearing revenge for his mom which is super based and we love him for that but like bros seven nine ten same thing like what's he gonna do so I'm wondering if there's some type of time skip shenanigans like every other anime in existence we'll see rip the rats How do we tell him? How do we tell him, guys? Listen, when this is going down, God can't save you. This is when it's over. This is when God's killing you, with all due respect. Only an otherworldly, ethereal being could create these naked monstrosities, with all due respect. This is God's doing. So my first theory was, there's some weird virus going down. Second theory, God just dropped these little naked dudes down. He's got a bonking stick. He'll do more damage than that one blonde dude who just like left the mom to die. That's for sure. Still hate that guy, to be honest. He might have a redemption arc though. That's terrifying. I mean, shout out to him for like sticking to the script though. Listen, if God's real, he's in a better place now. One thing I'm wondering is we were taught about the three walls in the beginning and in my head, this was the final wall, but I was like, wait, what if this is the third wall? And then like, there's a second wall with like richer people than the final wall, which I think is the John Cena wall, which is awesome. Like what if in there's like the super royalty people that make all the rules. And when the dad said he's going inland, that meant the dad's going in through more walls. So these are like semi peasants on the outer wall. Maybe I have no idea. Time will tell. But so far, I believe this is like the outer wall. When I was first watching, I thought it was the inner wall. Nice. We love that. Yeah, Noggin 5 smash and chat. This guy. <laughs> I never mind. There is no redemption arc. I hate this guy a great deal. The reason you couldn't save the mom, blonde guy, is because you were thinking too highly of yourself. You were arrogant. You thought you were him, and you were not. 
just lift the, the wood, bro, and then run, skedaddle with all three. You could pick up three of them. If you could ragdoll like two relatively large kids, you could pick up a mom as well as you're using your little grapple hooks. But nah, he wanted to fight, and then he was too slow. Let's hear his reasoning. Yeah, true, but you're also a bozo. You could have just picked up the mom. Also, hello, Brain Beast. Welcome in. Imagine telling a nine-year-old you lack the strength to save your mom. Like, what do you want him to do, bro? Like, you pump him full of steroids at nine? What's he doing? He's still probably not lifting that. But the three of you lifting that at the same time? Yeah, you could, you could free the mom. She might not have legs, but you'll free her. I'll stop hating on him, though, for like the time being, until he says something else that's dumb. Bro, she sees the future, too? How does everyone in here see the future? Aaron does, not his sister does, blonde guy does. To the inner gate? Okay, so they're going towards the more inner walls now, I assume. Would, would even trying to escape on boat matter since it's like some small canal? I guess if it's going through the walls, it would. I want to see someone fight one of the little dudes, you know? Just like duff them, mess them up. I feel like they could take them. Like a human could take a baby titan. Oh, I see. Alright, it's Kurapika again. And Zenitsu. Every blonde character in anime, all in one. <laughs> they, like they just look so goofy when they're not doing their menacing like stare smile this looks like snake right, well we got our answer on the walls i'm surprised they let the pores in so easily Wait, why is there not water? Alright, I, I must be on drugs. I swear in the previous scene there was not water, but I'll, I'll see it in editing. Yo, hops, bro. I mean, he, he could swim. That's actually not too bad, right? Song's hitting. Damn, can you even really aim those? Or is it just like a hope and a prayer? You stay in chat? You stay in or running? I'm 100% running. I don't see why anyone would fight. It's a guaranteed L. Cod, this is not Elden Ring. Cod says he'd prob fight. That's a guaranteed L. It's like four dudes in a leather jacket with two cannons, and you're fighting nine giant naked men and like at least 15 mini naked men. You're not winning that. It's over. Someone got to win time for the others to run. I feel like just having them smash a wall. Like, that's what I'm saying. The normal people, until we get, like, later on and they're doing crazy acrobats with their grapple hooks, I assume, it's just, they're nothing, you know? The Titans just walk by, chew them real quick. So until the homies with their cool grapple hook gear roll up, just gotta run. And I feel like these guys are the cool grapple hook guys, but they're cowards, so I don't know. <laughs> Uh, 
Alright, here's the one who I assume was struck by a lightning bolt. Or the lightning bolt came from within him. Oh wait, no. The other one was bald. This one isn't. There's more than one fleshy guy. Noted. At least I think the other one was bald. Or he grew hair in the span of an episode. Yeah, so remember when I asked if you guys were staying and fighting? <laughs> now you see why there's no point. All right, let's see. Let's see the damage it does. Sick. It kind of looks like baby Vegeta. Oh, you can kill the little guys with it, apparently. He also looks like a begging strip. You guys ever seen that, like, dog treat begging strips? So those kinds of titans look like baby Vegeta spliced with a begging strip. All right, well, that's wall too, right? Or maybe that's just a gate and it's not a wall yet. <laughs> but it's, it's looking like wall number one is also getting crushed. How does this go for so many seasons? If they're already in. Monka, hmm. I know that that's looking like a wall. All right, reading time. Rough diagram of human territory. Diagram, see original work. Brawley depicts area still inhabited by humans. Area outside Wall Maria remains a mystery. Oh, okay. So they just have no idea. I was wondering in the beginning. I was saying, can they not just like leave? Like, is this really the only place on earth that is not already overrun by these giants? But I guess they just don't know. This is how it's looking. Damn. So they're already here. Because they broke through the first one. Now they're in here. And that's really close to this one. All right. Let's see. Rough diagram of human territory. Two elevation increases with relative proximity to the center of human territory. Territory is rich in natural resources such as water, minerals, and natural gas. Okay. So they specifically built the walls around this area. <laughs> They're far enough to not know. Maybe that's further than I think. Who's going to tell him? There it is. Alright, let's see. Redemption arc. Poor little Babu Aaron, man. It's not fair because everyone loves their mom. So they immediately make you love the little guy. That's still a crazy line. You lack the strength. Nah, man, we can use grapple hooks. Just time skip and you're in, Aaron. Trust, bro. この都市中央政府は人類の活動領域をウォールローゼまで交代させることを決定した。The government in 845 was much like the government in the current day. Who would have thought?
Cursed Kingdom Hearts. All right, another one of Aaron's insane dreams. That one honestly is more insane than the first. I don't even know what to make of that. What do you mean you feel like you saw him? He just magically has the key? What, what's going on? Did he did he have the key beforehand? Hold up. Actual question. Cause I remember the dad saying he's gonna give him the key when he gets back. But then he had a vision dream and now he has the key? Is this correct? I'm trying to figure out how supernatural this is. <laughs> おい、ちゃんと並べ。うるせえ。こっちは言うべきだ。何も食ってねえんだ。私たちはまだ生き残ったわけじゃない。ええ。ミカさん。オルミ。ほら、間に合ったよ。おじいちゃんが子供の分だ
人口の2割に相当したが生存者はわずか百数十名その犠牲で残された人々の食料不足は What were they even sending them to do though? Like, if you send refugees out there, what, like, <laughs> they're, they're just gonna die. I assume his uh, parents were one of the refugees. That's why he was like putting the hat on him. GG's, little man. See, as a refugee who was being sent to die, I would simply refuse to go. And then they could, you know, kill me in there if they want. I don't think it would end well, though. You can enlist at 11. Kind of a W. Though so I guess beggars can't be choosers. You ever see those like super old World War II pictures where the soldier legit looks 12? That's the vibes I'm picking up. Yo, Armin's going in, W. Guys, do they let women in? Are they progressive? They don't seem very. It's the year 845. So, Alright, cool. The three amigos. Three musketeers. Three blind mice. I ran out of threes. Ah, they're in. Alright, so it's like a little mini time skip. Okay. Typical drill sergeant. Yo, everyone in here calls people cattle. It's like how we call people sheep, I guess. Think for yourself, sheep. Did he hit puberty? His voice sounds deeper. So true, lazy. The cattle are cowards. Also, guys, I, I know he's saying it because they're going to be eaten. I know. But thank you. Alright, cool. Now do we hear the ending song? We're in. Ending songs are almost always worse. Because they're softer. All right, to the soft enjoyers, are you liking this? Because it's just not for me, you know? The best anime ending is definitely Boogie Back. One of the Dragon Ball Super endings. All right, now that episode was a slow burn episode. That was like, you know, not much happened. We were just kind of chilling, kind of vibing. Okay, it gets better. Still, you know, not my thing, but... But all right, that was episode two. That one was rightfully a slow burn. You know, I called the first episode a slow burn, then lightning struck, and then, you know, it was all over. People were angry and dead. Tears were falling. It was crazy. All the emotions all at the end. This one, it really was just kind of mellow throughout.